We're laughing at the start of the segment already. Good. <laughs> Traffic controllers that hold stop signs, you'd probably know them as uh, lollipop men, nor women, have a sweeter deal than you may think. Some are earning up to $130,000 as a result of the construction boom. Let's take this now to our Sunday jury. We're joined by Nine Honeys, Shelley Horton and WSFM's Brendan Jones. Good morning to Howdy. you both. Good morning. Shelley, 130 grand a year, that's about double mm. what our nurses and our firefighters get paid. Completely understand. Yes, it is. But at the same time, it's supply and demand. And I am not going to begrudge anyone for earning money. And not many people want to do that lollipop job. I love that we've got a lot more women doing this job. It's a Absolutely. way of them getting into the construction industry. So I'm actually all for it. I think it's unfortunate that we instantly do the comparison to nurses and our emergency service workers because I do think they're horribly underpaid. Mm. Maybe they need to get the CMFEU on board and yeah. up their pay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to work, you know, in the, back when I used to work for a living, I was in the, <laughs> I was in the BLF, so that was the Builders Labourers Federation, okay. then it became the BWIU, but I was just a labourer. Back in 1987, I was making $1,000 a week as an 18-year-old, $1,000 a week. Wow. Uh, but it was, it was all union stuff. We went on strike one day because all the fire extinguishers were empty on the building site. And I said, yeah, but isn't that because we had a fire extinguisher fired on the first day? <laughs> And one of my older union brothers said, well, we'll just keep that on the down low, mate. Mate. So that's, uh, that's, that's union, man. That's what it's about. Well, I would I mean, say that's speaking out of school. Uh, it is. Yeah. Like ratting out. I'm going to have... What's our the union? The media war. arts. But, what, what, there's some union we have. Media, yeah. Yeah. media yeah. Yeah. They do arts. Entertainment yeah. They do a great job. Yeah. The media yeah. arts. One. Yeah. Yeah. Surely not every lollipop person is getting paid that amount. No, it's only look, going to be in the high demand areas. All is when you add in travel allowance, when you add in... Food allowances when you add working away from home. So this yeah, is a time. bit of an unusual circumstance, but it is happening. Yeah. Mm. But again, all licks to the lollipop lady. Licks to the lollipop lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now walking down the aisle is one of the most important moments of your life, and for one bride and groom, well, they chose a very specific aisle, uh, the fruit and veg section of the Coles supermarket. Rodney and Jessica Reinsma met while working at Coles and still work there today as a store manager and a grocery manager. Uh, Jonesy, would you get married at work? Uh, well, the radio station. Well. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It's a bit close to home, isn't it? Yes. Well, will they have a red spot special <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the aisle? Or is that on the honeymoon? Uh, oh. yeah, maybe they love, maybe they love their work so much and they get discounts as well. I had like I had and free the, publicity. Yeah, yeah, and the automatic maybe that's why they did it. And the automatic checkout chick, you know, yeah. unexpected item Swipe. in the bagging area. Yeah. <laughs> nah, clean up aisle four. There you go. Yeah, no, Shelley? I think they're weirdos. I'm sorry, weird. You don't get married in Coles. You just don't. And they look really attractive. Like mm. I can imagine their wedding photos would be incredible. But no, they're in aisle four. I will say yeah. it's the top of the range though, Coles. Like it's not Aldi. That's, you know, that's your budget wedding. That's your that's budget. Yeah, 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 then you're a but do you know what, Aldi? You could probably buy a wedding dress yeah, and could. a lawnmower yeah. and a blow up yeah. pool all and in one And a jet ski yeah, all in done. one day. <laughs> I don't all know, for I the wedding. Sneaking or suspicion or for the wedding. Yeah. Coles may have paid for their wedding or something. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it's got a little bit of You'd an need a sweetness, isn't there? Wouldn't there? Do you think something... we've been had? We've been had, and we're now talking about it on national TV. There's only one of us planning a wedding at the moment. Yes. Is there a Today Show weekend today wedding? I'm going to tell you, we're not getting married at Channel 9. We're not getting married at Coles or Woolworths or Aldi or even the David Jones Food Hall. Okay. Yeah. That would have been fantastic. <laughs> Couldn't afford David Jones. No, no, <laughs> certainly not. We'll try and talk Jane into that, but up next, it's Christmas Eve and if your last minute pickle to get a present, is it okay to re-gift something you've already been given? Of course it is. Our Sunday jury weighs in. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing. It's the debate of the summer. In Western Australia, the Liberal Party is pushing to change the law to allow the killing of great white sharks. That comes after new research found the west coast of Australia has twice as many of the predators. Jonesy, this is a, this is a tricky one. I mean, it's their home, isn't it? Do, sure. do we kill sharks so that people don't get attacked? Well, yeah. We do. Well, there's a lot of them now. No. You see, the thing is, the, the days we went... The problem with us as a society, in the days of Vic Heslop, you know, they were killing sharks like nobody's business. And then we had no sharks. And now we've got a thing as, oh, let's all save the sharks. Now we've got too many sharks. So can't we have, like, a, a healthy balance between the sharks? Like, I go out every day in the mm. surf. And in that time, I've seen... I saw one great white off uh, Cronulla Point down near my way. And it was amazing to see this great white. And I'm thinking, whoa, that is a big shark. 
But he's not interested in munching on me. They sort of eat you out of curiosity more than anything. So if they've got well, that something... that makes it a mere, right? a mere taste, yeah. If you've got something that keeps them away from the beaches, that's good. But what else have you got? Well, uh, that's the question, I suppose. Are there other methods we should be considering yeah, we, as opposed to culling? I love the idea of having these drones going up, just keeping uh, alert so everyone can be informed. But I don't think we should kill them. I mean, it is their environment. We're going into it. You're surfing in their environment. You Excuse don't me. get to then I'm say, the food I'm killing chain, man. That's what we are. That's what man is. If you want to hand it all over to the sharks, be my guest. I just, I mean, but most surfers actually are on the side of the shark. So you're Yeah, until they've annoying. been munched by yeah. one. And all of a sudden, <laughs> Kelly Slater said it would be an honour to be munched by a shark. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going, what's happened? Yeah. Maybe you just have to do the punch the shark. Maybe that's the teach all the yeah. surfers. Go to the Mick Fanning. The Mick yeah, Fanning. Mick Fanning. Yeah. Fanning. Boxing Maybe. classes. <laughs> we'll move on because we are just one sleep away from Santa's arrival. Obviously tonight everyone goes to sleep. You must go to sleep, otherwise Santa doesn't come. <laughs> but if you don't like your, the gifts you're given, is it okay to re-gift, particularly if you are short for someone and perhaps they might like it? Absolutely. It actually is like the perfect kind of recycling because mm. you don't really want it. Someone else might. And mm. also you don't get in that awkward position where someone's turned up with a bottle of champagne for you and you are empty handed. So mm. regifting is fine, but be very careful. You don't leave the tags on mm. or that it hasn't got some sort of personalization or something. So just be <laughs> yeah. very careful. That Shelley monogram. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. It's or, hard or, to pass that on. Or a dated on. warranty. Or a warranty that's yes. way out of date. That's, yes. uh, that's a bad You also one. have to remember who gave you the gift so you don't give it back to don't him. Don't give it back to the gift. You know what I've done, though? This is the situation. So I've gone and I've gone my shopping. I've bought my wife some great diamond earrings. And I'm in the mm. shops and I'm going, these are fantastic. Spent a bit of money on them. Got them. Then last night I'm watching her put her earrings on. I'm going, w when did you get those earrings? She goes, oh, I've had these for years. And I'm going... Oh, they're exactly the same. I think they're pretty much the same. Oh, no, you're Jonesy. such a boy. Just, Could you get another piercing? Well, no, that's yes. what you say. I've noticed Family that pair that you love so much, and I thought, just in case. Double it up. Yeah. Well, it's all... Mrs Jones is watching. No, she's not watching this. <laughs> she she should watching. be. We've Did... spoiled it for her. She thinks I'm a lollipop man. <laughs> <laughs> Can, Can I just do one Merry quick Christmas? little Merry Christmas to my niece Lillian who's over in Perth. She couldn't be with us for Christmas and I just want to say we love you and we wish you were here. Mwah. Merry Christmas. She's getting chased by a shark. <laughs> <laughs> in Dolly Way. Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas all of you out there, all yes. our family and friends and your family and friends too. Let's share the love. Share, share the, the love. love. <laughs> well, we're sharing love. There's more to come after the break. It's the most wonderful time.